So the book is called How War to Be Remembered in Schools. Um, it's an open access publication, so there are physical copies, but it, it can be downloaded online. Um, and I look at the justifications for the event of remembrance in schools. So to tie in with the 100 year anniversary uh, of the First World War. Um, and I look at three different justifications for uh, why we should engage in the act of remembrance. Uh, I look at the horror, what I've called the horror justification, so to bring home the horror of war, or the shared values justification to reinforce shared values um, or the gratitude justification that we owe a debt of gratitude uh, and I argue that only the horror justification um, can be accepted so I reject the gratitude and the shared values justification and that has implications for how we engage in the event of remembrance. We can't establish, we can't know, we might owe a debt of gratitude to the war dead but we can't know that we do, it's an open question. So I suggest that in schools we should engage in the question of whether we do owe a debt of gratitude to the war den, that's an entirely reasonable and important question, but we can't engage in the event of remembrance having assumed in advance that we owe a debt of gratitude. Um, and similarly for shared values, um, there are all kinds of um, tricky questions there about uh, whether we do have a set of shared values uh, and whether the values that we might now attribute to the events of the First and the Second World War uh, were the same values that the soldiers who died in those conflicts uh, believed they were defending. And again, uh, I argue that that's an open question um, and so we shouldn't again engage in the event of remembrance having assumed that there is an enduring set of shared values that we need to uphold. So I'm finishing off a book on uh, religious education uh, and uh, I'm also looking at um, the philosophy of research methods. I'm particularly interested in phenomenology.